What do salad spinners, gas, and spinning metal tubes have to do with nuclear war? That's not a riddle. That's uranium enrichment, the process at the core of growing global alarm around Iran. Last week, Israel launched deadly strikes on Iran's nuclear facilities. Scientists were killed. Infrastructure may have been hit. And now, questions loom over how close Iran is to producing a nuclear weapon. Let's break it all down. To understand uranium enrichment, we need to start with the atom. Uranium, like all elements, comes in different isotopes. Versions with the same number of protons, but a different number of neutrons. Naturally mined uranium is mostly uranium, 238. That's 99.27% of it. But the part we really care about is uranium, 235, which makes up just 0.72%. Why? Because only uranium, 235, can sustain a nuclear chain reaction, the kind used to power cities or to flatten them. In civilian nuclear power plants, you only need uranium that's enriched to about 3 to 5%. That's enough to generate electricity safely. But for a bomb, the uranium needs to be enriched to at least 20%, and usually up to 90%. That's weapons grade. Enrichment means increasing the proportion of uranium, 235, and removing uranium, 238. So, how do you enrich uranium? The most common method today is centrifuge technology. Think of it like a high-speed salad spinner, spinning uranium gas at 70,000 rotations per minute. The heavier uranium, 238 moves to the edges, while the lighter uranium, 235 stays toward the center. Do this again, and again, and again, until the percentage of uranium, 235 builds up. This is exactly how Iran enriches uranium at its Natans and Ferdow facilities. Iran says its nuclear program is peaceful, for power and medicine. But here's the problem. Iran has enriched uranium up to 60%. That's just one technical step away from weapons grade. It's also the only non-nuclear nation doing this. The International Atomic Energy Agency, or IAEA, has raised the alarm. This month, it ruled that Iran is in breach of its obligations under the Global Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty. Last week's Israeli strikes hit Natans, Ferdow, and Isfahan, three critical sites in Iran's nuclear infrastructure. Natans and Ferdow are enrichment hubs. Isfahan is where Iran processes the raw uranium. Iran accused Israel of sabotage. And now, after years of covert ops and cyber attacks, we've reached a flashpoint. Every extra percent of uranium, 235 brings Iran closer to bomb capability. And once you're at 60%, Going to 90% is far easier than getting from 0.7% to 60%. So, the same science that powers cities can also flatten them. That's the paradox of uranium enrichment. And today, it's at the heart of one of the world's most volatile geopolitical crises. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the Indian Express for more grounded, factual, and sharply explained global developments.